What's coming on YouTube? GF right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mirror your iPhone screen or iPad screen directly to your computer or your smart TV with a program called 1001 TV Screen Mirroring App. And this one allows you to screen mirror Android, iOS, and you can do it on Windows, Mac, smart TV, and so on. And this does work pretty well, actually. It doesn't have a lot of lag. And you can use this for presentations, gaming, family album, in the classroom if you want to do your presentation. But if you want to do screen mirroring from your iPhone, to your computer or smart TV, here's how you do it. At first, you're going to need to get the application on your phone. Now, in the App Store, it's this one over here, Screen Mirroring 1001 TVs. And you have to install this one, which is free, on your device. But that's not all. You need one on the computer as well, or on the smart TV. Now, it's also available in the Play Store, of course. But for Mac, you have to search for 1001 TV like this, and you're going to find Mac Apps. And this one is going to be the application. Now, if you open the application, it's going to look something like like this. And then here you have the main options of the program, and that is mirror phone to Mac, mirror phone to Mac via cable, but this does support Wi Fi too, mirror Mac to TV, and then share files with the phone. But for mirroring purposes, you can just click mirror phone to Mac over here, and you're going to have a QR code. Now, here's what you're going to need to do on the device you're going to have to install the 1001 TVs application from the App Store, and it will look something like this. And now you're going to have screen mirroring at the top, and it's it will immediately search for paired computers or available targets and so on. And in this case, it's the M1 Mac. I'm going to tap this one over here and we have the option with sound or without sound. You know which one you need and press start over here and then start broadcast. And this will immediately connect to the application and I can close this window over here. And now I'm mirroring using this program. And of course, you can make it larger. You can make it full screen if you want to. You can also resize it like this if you need to. Right now it's being resized and um, yeah, you can see exactly what I have here on my phone. And as you can see, this program supports the latest iOS 26 because if I go here on settings, software update, you can see that I'm running iOS 26 developer beta, which means that the program has been updated to support iOS 26 as well. And not only that, but it also has very little lag. As you can see here, this page moves very fast, but we can still do it and we are on Wi-Fi. If you connect it via a cable, it works even better. Now, the best part is that it also supports different orientations. So if I tilt the screen and I go into this mode, I can go ahead and bring this one over here. And you can see that I am now in the landscape mode. And yes, we can make this one bigger so that you can see what's going on. And I'm here on my phone on this Wikipedia page about lynxes. And I can see it in landscape. Great for presentations or, you know, schoolwork and stuff like that. And once I'm done with it, I can just tilt the screen back to portrait and that's it. And the phone mirroring still works. So that's actually quite great. Now here on settings, you can pin this, you can rotate, you can full screen, but there is also the drawing tools. And as you can see, we have a bar over here with the drawing tools. And you can take, for example, a color and draw stuff on the screen if you want to do a presentation. For example, I'm going to go here into the links stuff and we can do arrows and lines and whatever if you want to underline something during the presentation or if you want to do something like this you can do so quite easily there is also this moving tool that you can move stuff around and you can also record the screen this allows you to record the screen if you need to keep the modifications like arrows and whatever and the application itself is actually quite versatile you go here you also have screen receiver which means that you can mirror your pc or mac or whatever to this device so yes i can mirror my phone to the computer, but I can also mirror the computer to my phone if I want to. So I'm going to go here with whiteboard. And this is actually a nice feature, especially for class. And now we can start drawing and, you know, writing something like test over here. And this works like a whiteboard. Uh, of course, this works better with a pen on the iPad, for example, with Apple Pen support, but you can definitely use it here. It does have colors that you can use. So this makes for a great tool in class. And yeah, you can definitely mirror the screen with this quite well. You can see there isn't much lag. It does move quite fast via Wi-Fi. And once you're done, you can just click X over here and click OK. And it will stop mirroring. So that's basically it. That's how you do screen mirroring with 1001 TVs from iPhone to computer or from Android to computer. And of course, from your computer to your living TV. So thank you for watching. Definitely check the program out in the link below and peace out.